Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So in order to start, all you need to know is that area is base times height. Okay, I just rewrote that right here. That's it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So base is seven, height is five. Seven times five, 35. Now, because we're timesing centimeters times centimeters, it's centimeters squared. You need to remember that when you're multiplying something times the same thing. So feet times feet would be feet squared. Inches times inches would be inches squared, okay? So this one says that there is a square, okay? Well, a square has four equal sides, right? And each one of those sides is going to be nine. Well, nine times nine, base times height. 81 and because it's yards we have to put yards squared we're planting nine yards by nine yards okay if it says a square then that means that they have the same number on both sides okay all right now this one parallelogram just like these guys okay you do the same thing as a square guys just it's a, it's a rectangle that is tilted that's all it is so it still has the same formula as a rectangle Okay, so this says that the area is 247 inches in the base, so they need you to give it the height. Okay, so here's our formula. So I'm going to fill in the numbers for each one of the ones that we have. It says that the area is 247. It says that the base is 19. We need to find out what the height is. Okay. So just like when we were doing our algebra before, in order to isolate that, I have to do the opposite of this, which is gonna be divide by 19. And whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side of the equal sign, okay? So now I'm gonna do 247 divided by 19, okay? Now, I do not know my multiples of 19 off the top of my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my calculator just to get my multiples of 19, okay? So, so I know 19, I know 38, and that's about as far as I know, 57, 76, and I'm gonna do one more is 95, okay? So, now, 19 is not going to go into 2, placeholder. 19 will go into 24. The closest we're going to get is 1 time for 19, subtract, and get 5. Okay? 5 is smaller than 19, so I'm going to bring down my 7, and the closest I'm going to get is that 57, which is 1, 2, 3 times. 3 times 19 is 57, subtract and get 0, so 13 is my height. Okay, so 13, and we're just going to do inches because this is the inches times inches is the inches squared. Okay, so remember, just like when we were doing our formulas before and plugging in our numbers before, we have to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide, and we have to take away the number so that we can isolate this and get it alone. Okay, so that's all we did. So your height is 13 and weights in inches okay make sure you guys show your work pause it show your work okay all right we're going to do another one okay all right so it says our area is 9.18 equals our base is 2.7 times and it wants our height so again we're going to isolate height we're gonna get it alone, okay? So in order to do that, I have to do the opposite. Divide, I have to divide by the number that's here. So 2.7, whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side, divide by 2.7. So now I'm gonna go, okay, if you'll remember, I cannot have a decimal outside of the division. So I needed to move that one time, which means I need to move this one one time. So it's going to be 91.8, okay? I'm going to move that decimal up, okay? 
And again, I don't know how multiples of 27 past 54, or sorry, past um, 54. So I'm going to go 27. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write 27, 54, 81. It is okay to use your calculators to get your multiples. It is not okay to use your calculator to do the work. Okay, so there's five of those. So let's see how we can do, okay? So 27 is not going to go into nine, placeholder. Okay, 27 will go into 91. The closest we're going to get is 81, which was three times. Three times 27 was 81. Okay, I subtract, I get 10. Okay, now 10 is smaller than 27, so I'm going to bring down my 8, and 108 was four times. 4 times 27 was 108, subtract, get 0. So 3.4 is our height. 3.4, and it's being measured in meters, okay? If we're looking for, I'm going to put a 2 right here, just so we remember, area is always squared, okay? Whatever it is, that's squared, okay? All right. So pause it, write down your work. I'm going to go on, okay? Okay, um, so I'm going to go down. Actually, no, we'll do number six. That would be perfect. Okay, so again, area, eight and three quarters. Do not let these fractions scare you. Base is three and a half. And we need to isolate height. We need to get it alone. Okay, so in order for us, to get height alone, I need to do the opposite, which is divide, and the number associated with that is three and a half. Whatever I do to that side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. Okay, so now I have eight and three quarters divided by three and a half. Okay. All right, we're gonna do dead man. Call this dead man because we can turn it to the side. It looks a little bit like a dead man's face. Okay. Well, at least it does when I don't have the light shining in it. Okay. So four times eight is 32 plus three is 35. And we keep our denominator divided by two times three is six plus one is seven. And we keep our denominator. Okay. Now when we're dividing, we keep, we change and we flip. Now we can cross cancel. Okay, well, seven goes into seven once and seven goes into 35 five times. And two goes into two once and two goes into four twice. So now five times one is five, two times one is two. Now we just need to put that into a mixed number. Well, two goes into five, so you absolutely can do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and do it mentally. Okay, two goes into five, two times, that's my whole number, okay? Two times two is four, five minus four is one, and I keep my denominator, so two and a half, and it's in yards. Okay, pause it, write down your work, okay? Make sure that you guys are writing down your work or you're not gonna get credit, okay? All right. You guys are gonna do seven through 10. You totally can, I believe in you. If you need to go back and watch the other ones, okay? Nothing wrong with that, okay? We are gonna go down and we're gonna do number 11. It says Rana has a sticker in the shape of a parallelogram. The sticker has a base of 6.5 and a height of 10.1. What's the area? So all we're doing is multiplying those two because it gives us the base and the height, okay? So 6.5 and I'm gonna put 10.1 above it. And we're multiplying, okay? All right, five times one is five, five times zero is zero, five times one is five, okay? Now, pick, I don't have anything, that's okay. Stack, so six times one is six, six times zero is zero, six times one is six, add them up. Five, six, five, six, and I need to go in one, two times because that's where my decimals are. Oh, sorry if I can't see that. Sorry. Okay, I need to go in one, two, three, 
two times because that's how many times my decimals are in. Okay, so one, two, put a decimal. So 65.65. 65.65. 65.65. And it's in centimeters. And because I'm multiplying centimeters by centimeters, it's centimeters squared. Okay, go back and write down your work, guys. You gotta show your work. Okay, we are gonna go on to number 12. And it says a parallelogram has a, sorry, a parallelogram shaped tile has an area. Okay, so area equals base times height. And it's giving us the area of 48 equals, and the base is 12. And we need to isolate and get alone the height. Okay? So now I'm going to do, in order to get alone, I have to do the opposite. So I'm going to divide, and the number with that is 12. Divide by 12. And we all know our multiples of 12, so 12 goes into 48 four times. So four inches, okay? Okay, make sure that you go back and share your work, guys, okay? So four inches. All right, we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson test, just like always, okay? We're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay, so number three on the spiral review says which of the following values make y the inequality of y is smaller than negative four? So we need a negative number where the number is smaller than negative four. Remember, when you're going negative, the bigger the number, the smaller it actually is. Okay, so negative six is going to be smaller because it's a bigger number and still negative. Okay, negative four is the same. That's not going to cut it. Zero is going towards positive. That's not going to cut it. Negative eight is a bigger number and still negative. And two is a positive number. Okay, so we needed y to be smaller. So it's going to be y equals negative six and y equals negative eight. Okay. All right. On a winter's day, I'm just going to cross this out and use the same one. Okay. On a winter's day, nine degrees Fahrenheit is the highest temperature recorded. Write an inequality that represents the temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit at any time on this day. So it's saying that T temperature, and we have nine degrees, okay? So the highest temperature was nine degrees, which means that the temperature for the rest of the day, oops, I need to just that back, needed to be smaller, okay? The rest of the day, the temperature was less than nine degrees because nine degrees was the biggest. So T is smaller than nine, and we can put degrees Fahrenheit, but you don't have to. Can just put nine. Okay. All right. Let's do the last couple here. Okay. Fix my paper. All right. In two seconds, an elevator travels 40 feet. In three seconds, the elevator travels 60 feet. In four seconds, it's 80 feet. Write an equation that gives the relationship between the number of seconds x and the distance y. So two times blank equals 40. 3 times blank equals 60. 4 times blank equals 80. So, well, what is what times 2 is 40? Well, let's do, okay, 2 goes into 4, 2 times, which is 4, subtract and get 0. So, because that's a 0 and because that's a 0, we can just go ahead and move it up. So, 20. Well, is three times 20, 60? Sure it is. And four times 20, 80? Sure it is. So X, yeah, let me do it this way, okay? So Y is the distance it travels is 20 
times x, so 20x, okay? There you go, all right? That's your work, guys, and show your work, okay? All right, the linear equality y equals 4x represents the number of bracelets that y Jolene can make in x hours, right? In order pair, which order pair lies on the graph of the equation? Okay, so, okay, so we could say in one hour, she makes four, so there's an ordered pair, okay? If we multiply both of those by two, we could put two, and four times two is eight, that's an ordered pair. We could put three, and four times three is 12. We could put four, and four times four is 16. Okay, so you can put any of those down there. Okay, it's just asking for one. Okay, so you can put one four, move that. You can put two eight, you can put three 12, or you can put four 16, you can put 520, you can put 624, okay? You can do, okay? Anything that is on that same grid. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for 10.1. Come on back for 10.2. See you soon.